Diane Nguyen is one of the most important characters of the TV show, Bojack Horseman. She is the main female protagonist whose development we witness throughout the show. It can be said that she possesses similar characteristics to Bojack, which is indeed mentioned in the show itself. But are they really the same? Diane, it's me. Come on. We're the same. <gasps> we are not the same. Hello everyone, I'm Ece. Today I am going to focus on Diane's character and in which way she is actually different from Bojack. When we have our first encounter with Diane, she is a writer in our mid-30s who is also dating a famous TV star, Mr. Peanut Butter. She gains importance by becoming Bojack's ghostwriter for his memoir as they start to form kind of a complicated relationship. However, even from the earliest times of this awkward friendship, it can be seen that the support is too much one-sided from Diane's side. In the season 1 episode Live Fast Diane Nguyen, Diane learns that her father is dead and goes back home to organize the funeral as none of the other family members does, in which Bojack accompanies. We get to meet her family, just as Bojack does, and see that they are actually terrible towards her. Bojack's presence doesn't help Diane much either as he, too, tries to spend time with Diane's brothers instead of giving her emotional support. Throughout the episode, it is clear that Diane is actually not very sad that she lost her father, but because of how much he can still be a burden on her as she is the one that has to organize the funeral and not her brothers, who have been just as terrible towards her as her father. Growing up in a terrible familial environment is one of the main similarities in Diane and Bojack's lives, but how they approach their familial issues have a clear distinction. In Diane's case, it's obvious that she hates her father and just wants to get the funeral over with as she is tired of dealing with her family. When we compare this with Bojack's case, it's obvious that his mind is still stuck at his unresolved issues with his mother. The season 5 episode, Free Churro, focuses fully on Bojack's eulogy at his mother's funeral. Just like Diane, he has lost a family member that he truly dislikes as she abused him a lot as a child. However, all he does is talk about how he never got her approval in the past and how he will never be able to. Suddenly you realize you'll never have the good relationship you wanted and as long as they were alive, even though you'd never admit it, part of you was still holding on to that chance and he didn't even realize it until that chance went away my mother is dead and everything is worse now we can actually see that diane focuses more on how she can resolve her issues and improve the quality of her life while letting go of the unhealthy relationships she had in the past whereas bojack just hangs on to his past and cannot move on from his familial traumas Diane and Bojack also differ in how they act in their romantic relationships. Most of the time, Bojack plays the victim. Instead of trying to make it work, he believes that his relationships are doomed to have a timeout. He thinks that even though his relationships are going well, there is always going to be something that messes everything up and that cannot be fixed, which will cause the relationship to end. With Wanda, he believes that she fell in love with him because she didn't know him well, but as soon as she gets to know more about him, she will fall out of love and break up with him, which eventually happens in the season 2 episode Yes End. I can't be around someone who's just fueled by bitterness and negativity. Well then, what are you doing here? What happened, Bojack? Same thing that always happens. You didn't know me, then you fell in love with me, and now you know me. When you look at someone through rose-colored glasses, all the red flags just look like flags. Even though he's partially correct, this happens because he doesn't give much effort in his relationships and just accepts things falling apart. A similar thing happens in his relationship with Gina. In the season 5 episode The Showstopper, Bojack becomes an opioid addict and because of its side effects, he strangles her, which causes her to break up with him. The main problem is that he acts like he's an observer of his own misbehaviors instead of taking actions to actively change them. Similar to Bojack, Diane makes many mistakes in her relationships and one of the most important relationships she has is with Mr. Peanut Butter. Even though it's very obvious that she's not very happy in her relationship and feels incompatible with Mr. Peanut Butter, she gets engaged with and eventually married with him but clearly goes through rough times in this journey. 
In the same episode, Bojack and Wanda break up. Diane resists to tell Mr. Peanut Butter that she came back from Cordovia because she couldn't handle being in the war and crashes at Bojack's for a few days. It's possible to see that these two affect each other in the worst ways and support each other's negative patterns. However, the way they deal with their problems differ. Even though Diane remains married to Mr. Peanut Butter for a few years, in the season 4 episode What Time Is It Right Now? She gets sick of having the same arguments over and over again and eventually breaks the patterns by asking for a divorce. Diane and Mr. Peanut Butter, back to normal, right? <laughs> Sometimes I feel like our marriage is like a magic eye poster. It's messy. And at first glance, it doesn't seem to make any sense. And it's hard to figure out. But sometimes, if you squint at it just right, everything lines up and it's the most perfect thing. Yeah. I'm so tired of squinting. <laughs> While breaking up, she doesn't blame either Mr. Peanut Butter or herself but rather accepts that they are two different people with different needs and expectations from life and their relationships. She then goes to Vietnam to reconnect with her ancestral background but feels lonelier than ever. Because even though you're the one who asked for this, now that you've got it, you are completely adrift with no compass or map or sense of where to go or what to do. So you go to Vietnam. You think you might find community, but you don't. You feel even more alone than you were before you left. But you survive. In short, breaking up doesn't make her feel better at first. But she takes the risk of doing so for her own happiness in the long term and picks up the pieces one by one over time. After she gives herself some time to heal, she even meets Guy who she gets married to and has a happy marriage with. One of the most important distinctions Diane and Bojack has is that she doesn't make her problems other people's problems. Instead, she tries to make the right decisions for her life and focus on herself. On the other hand, Bojack just accepts his destiny and doesn't change anything at all. In the episode End Sub, we learn that Diane has been going to therapy for several years, but Bojack intervenes in Diane's therapeutic relationship with her therapist starts using a therapist for his own benefit and doesn't even care about how this affects Diane. At the end, her therapist says that Diane doesn't need therapy anymore and leaves her to get Bojack as a client. But Bojack leaves the therapist as he thinks he doesn't need a therapeutic relationship in his life. Anyone some psycho babbling quack job telling me to get in touch with my feelings? Who needs that? I do. I need that. You don't anymore. She said it herself. You're fixed. And then after you left, I was like, hey, if Diane doesn't need this, I don't need this. He actually associates himself with Diane and thinks that if Diane doesn't need therapy, then he doesn't need it either. By the way, in this situation, the therapist's behaviors are unprofessional too, but Bojack doesn't seem to care about this as the main person that is affected by all of this is Diane and not him. This situation sums up how differently Bojack and Diane approach life perfectly. Bojack just uses people for his own selfish reasons and doesn't think about how this affects other people, whereas Diane just tries to understand her patterns, tries to change for both her own good and to be a better person. Things were good in my life, and I was thinking about my future. And then I woke up one morning, and I had this voicemail. Right? I'm so sorry. Call me back if you don't want me to go swimming. Otherwise, I'm just going to assume you don't care. I wish I could have been the person you thought I was, the person who would save you. That was never your job. Then why did you always make me feel like it was? One of the main reasons for why Diane works on her issues and Bojack doesn't can be associated with being a woman. The bar for men is depressingly low. Just sprinkle in a few words like intersectionality or microaggressions and Vice News will name you Feminist of the Year. It's obvious that Bojack represents privileged white and charismatic men. Meanwhile, Diane is a Vietnamese-American woman who is considered to be a minority. In the season 6 episode, Sunk Cost and All That, Bojack, Diane and Princess Carolyn decide to make a list of all the bad things Bojack has done in the past that he may be blackmailed with and the list contains a lot of things that Diane had never heard about before such as causing Carolyn's overdose and leaving her to basically die, strangling Gina and attempting to have sex with Penny who was a minor at the time. 
Bojack tries to find a way out whereas Diane says he needs to take responsibility, be honest and deal with the consequences of his actions. You're about to get pushed out of a plane and the two of you are talking like you're trying to brainstorm ways to get back on the plane. That's not gonna happen. I think you should do the hard thing and be honest. Things will get worse before they get better but you won't have to spend the rest of your life waiting for the other shoe to drop. The reason that the terrible things he has done, being slipped under the rug for so long, is because no one really questioned him. And even though he comes out, it's possible he will get away with the consequences and still continue living a relatively good life. However, for Diane, it's very easy to be crossed out with one mistake, so it's almost a necessity for her to strive to be better in order to survive in society. Therefore, technically, it's true that Diane is a female version of Bojack, because she has to be better in order to survive, whereas Bojack doesn't. When we have a look at Diane Nguyen, at first, she seems like a female version of Bojack, a fully float individual. Actually, this is a correct description. She is a float person, just like everyone. It's our imperfections that make us more human. However, we cannot just hide behind this mask and do whatever we want. We need to be better people and strive to get better. I know I screwed up. I don't oh, know great. why. Oh, I... great. Of course. You can't keep doing shitty things and then feel bad about yourself like that makes it okay. You need to be better. This is what makes Diane different from Bojack. He believes that it is written in his fate that he is broken inside and that he cannot do anything about it. But Diane accepts that she comes from a terrible family, tries to understand herself, find what she wants out of life and relationships, makes mistakes along the way, but tries to be a better person at the end of the day. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you in my next videos. Bye!